Everybody. Welcome back to another video, Paradox 0398, and in this video we're going to be playing Roblox Jailbreak. Now, Jailbreak has just came out with a mini bonus update that includes a number of things, but before I get into that, uh, I have two things to say. First thing is, um, there's no excuses of why I haven't recorded in the past week, other than I was just too lazy to and I didn't want to, but I'm recording now, and the second thing is, uh, stay tuned on my vlog channel. I've got, hopefully, a video coming in the next week on that um yeah i'll leave a link in the description to my vlog channel and the other two channels that i have um all in the description and in the description i'll leave a link to my roblox group please join it, it would help me out and uh, yeah so let's just get on with the video now one bonus thing that they've added here in the description is that their next update which is the april 2020 update is going to be live more info soon on how to view it. We have a bonus update for you all. Hope you're all well. New flintlock gun. Powerful shots with knockback, which actually knocks you, knocks your uh, avatar back. It's ten thousand dollars. Donut weapon skins, forty thousand dollars. Faster Bugatti Chiron with interior, and a handful of patches and improvements. And those patches and improvements include. A fixed invisible patch, taser crosshair patch, because before, like, if you had the taser, no crosshairs would appear. The no no jetpack and Tron bike glitch, where you can go on the Tron bike and use the jetpack at the same time. And other physics patches slash fixes and more. Let's just go ahead and read the uh, thumbnail here. Jailbreak mini update. Stay healthy and have fun playing Jailbreak. Use the code HEALTHY for $7,500 in the ATMs. I've already done that, but it's just you go to the ATMs, redeem code, and type in HEALTHY, hit redeem code, and you get $7,500. They have a new flintlock gun, which there's, there it is right there. Donut weapon, a pink donut weapon skin, and an improved Sharon. There's a picture of it. Plus, improvements based on your feedback, invisible patch, taser crosshair patch, physics patches, and more. You can see it also again says down here our next update. Our next big update is in April. One other thing that I forgot to add on I've seen many people on Twitter or whatever ask what that background behind the Bugatti is. You can see it more towards like the right of the Bugatti. There's that uh, red laser looking thing. And they're like, ooh, what's that? Well, actually, that's just the cargo plane. You can see the Bugatti is pulling out of the cargo plane, and that's that red light there, that red laser-looking thing is actually just the back of the cargo plane. So there's nothing special about that. So yeah, let's go ahead and join the game. Okay, we are in the game now. Let's go ahead and escape. Does anybody have a key card for me? Key card? Oh, hello! Hello, I'd like a free key card. Aw, oh, you're gonna take me in there and trap me, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna escape. Let's just get the heck out of here. Go ahead and come up here. Oh, hello. Was there a cop out here? <laughs> not being a part of that. Okay. Sharon. Now, one thing you can automatically tell about the Sharon is it is... It's different. It's not that fast. It's not definitely not as fast as the torpedo, but it is most definitely faster than it used to be. And speaking of which, I will be making yet another speed test of the Bugatti Chiron versus the Bugatti Veyron versus the torpedo versus the Tesla Roadster, again, just because they have changed the speed of the Bugatti Chiron. So stay tuned for that. That's probably going to be Sunday's premiere, so stay tuned for that. I'm just gonna get myself a donut because why the heck not? Okay, now that I've told you about that, let's go ahead and get the flintlock gun. Now, it is not in either of the gun shops as you probably saw when I was getting my guns in the gun shop. Gun shop. There's nothing new in the gun shop or anything. 
It's, it's kind of a gun that's randomly around the map, kind of like the sniper. But remember in, like, June, July, like, summer 2019, they came out with the update of the Pirate Sword, and it was on that little uh, hacker cage island over there. And that's, that's still over here. If we come over here and we take a look, uh, that Pirate Sword is still here. And that's the pirate sword, pretty much all there is to say about that. But, if you see, here is the flintlock uh, gun. It is $10,000, I've already bought it, but if you hit grab, it'll say, ten, buy flintlock gun, $10,000, you buy it. But here it is. Now, it's kind of a mix between a sniper and a shotgun, because it does take a while to reload, and it only has one shot, kind of like a sniper. And it does damage more like a sniper, it does a lot of damage, but it's very close range, even shorter range than the shotgun, so it's kind of a mix between those. But it is a great gun. Now, uh, with it, I've already put on the donut skin. It is nighttime right now, so you can't see it too well, but you can see that little tiny purple spot on it, uh, and on the bottom of it, it's kind of like a tan color, and then there's like a wave, and then it's the pink. Kinda hard to see at night, but that is the new pink donut skin. It is pink, trust me, it's not blue or anything. So, that's, again, that's not my favorite uh, gun skin. I like the uh, diamond gun skin. That's just my favorite. That's what I like. Um, and that's what I'm gonna stick with. But that is the new gun and the gun skin. Now, like I said, this gun, this is uh, ten thousand dollars the flintlock gun, but the pink donut skin is forty thousand dollars. It's kind of funny how the donut skin is four times as much as the new flintlock gun itself. Kind of weird, but whatever. As Badimo said in the March 2020 update on Twitter, it's kind of a bragging rights sort of thing if you have a if you have a lot of money. So. Now that's pretty much all there is to say about the up the mini update itself. Um, there's nothing else too special that they've added or anything like that. As I said before, uh, you can't use the jetpack on the Tron bike, and all those glitches have been fixed. Now, if you use the taser, there's crosshairs. You know, just simple uh, fixes like that. Um, and fix some things with physics and whatnot. Just simple things like that. Now I know this was a very short video. This is actually the shortest video I've ever made on this channel, but it was a mini update after all, so there wasn't all that much to cover. Now stay tuned on this channel t for tomorrow night, uh, Sunday night, around 5 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a video premiere of a speed test of the Bugatti Chiron versus the Bugatti Veyron versus the Tesla Roadster versus the Torpedo. Now I've already done that, but that was before they changed the speed of the Bugatti Chiron. And I sure hope that the Bugatti Chiron, at the very least, beats the old Bugatti Veyron. So yeah, if you don't want to miss that, then uh, please like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss that video. And as always, stay safe from the coronavirus and have a great day. See you in my next video, everybody. Goodbye. Oh, 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 oh,